Hello and welcome to Alchemist Camp, where we learn Elixir by building things. Last time we built a little bit more onto the alchemist.camp website, such as being able to correctly show 404s when you go to a path that doesn't exist. This time we're going to add templating. Reason for that is right now the only part of the site that really looks okay is the main page. And we achieved that by adding a static path for the main site, dropping in a whole HTML file there, and then also some, some static, can, uh, static asset directories for images and so forth. So the starting point today is just like last time, except that I've added a few template files. And this one has some logic in it. It's kind of similar to uh, ERB, if you were familiar with Ruby development. Um, this is called EEX. It's something that you get built into Elixir. You don't even have to add it to your, uh, to your mix file or anything like that. So we'll start at the router, which is really more like the kitchen sink since we, we haven't built controllers or anything yet for this, this simple framework. First thing we'll do is we'll make the template path available throughout the module. And I put them in lib slash campsite slash web slash templates. Then we need a function to find all the templates that are in that directory. We'll call it get templates. And it doesn't have to take anything since we've got the path in there. And we'll use a comprehension to get all templates from path.wildcard of our template path. Then anything.eex. And then we will just save the base or we'll return the base names of each of these. So for example, we would return hello.eex, or we would return hello instead of hello.eex. Once that is set up, we can change this into its own function for not found. This not found, and we'll take a con first, so we can pipe into it. We'll take a route. And as long as we're here, we might as well make this a little bit more dynamic. A page at route. Let me full screen this so you can see what we're doing. Okay. Uh, no, not okay. There we go. The next step is to make a new content for that does use the name of whatever wasn't matched. We'll call this other since it didn't match any of these. It's some other path. We'll get the base name from that, that route. So instead of getting uh, slash hello, for example, we'll just get hello. Then we need to check if that name is in the list generated by get templates. So if enum.member get templates my name, then we know there is a template for that route and we'll render it. We haven't written that function yet. Otherwise, we'll call not found on the same. Next step is to make a render function. And we need the con and the name of the route or the name of the template being rendered. And we will generate a body by using eex.eval file. You can use eex to evaluate files or just strings, or you can compile them into uh, pre-compiled functions which will obviously have better performance, but it's also a little bit less convenient because then you have to reload your, um, your session every time you change files. 
and we don't have uh, any kind of asset pipeline yet and the performance still isn't that bad when they're evaled at least the size we're dealing with so that's what we're going to do we need to pass it to the template path followed by a slash then the name of the template then dot eex they're all dot eexs and then uh, assigns that we give to the template we'll deal with that later and then we'll put response body onto the con okay and let's see if that works restart the server or not let's see unexpected token end forgot to do all right and let's see if it loads so later we have a template for and it's a simple template that doesn't require any assigns and it renders excellent and now if we go to one that does require an assigns like hello we get an ugly erlang error message it needs an assigns that is called adj so if we were to pass it that adj i'm sure we can use the keyword syntax adj wonderful and it loads hi i'm a template aren't i wonderful i can do stuff we look in here wonderful got interpreted this block has if three equals seven then we do this the the equals here means that you print it out instead of just evaluating it we have one there as well um, so if we set this to three then we'd see the control structures and part so what we'll do is we'll we'll add a signs to our con we'll put it at the top of the structure and assigns will be a map just as they are in plug.con and then we need a function to add to the assigns and we'll call that def assign and this will be using the struct from this module so glue.con assigns equals assigns assigns of assigns okay so this is the con we're passing in three things you know what i'm going to delete this to make it clear so assigns takes a con a key and a value and then what we do is we want to make a new con and we want to set the assigns in that con to be map.put assigns key value. So what this does is our new con is just like the old con except for the assigns field and the assigns field is now what the assigns was with the value that we passed in put into the key we passed in thing is this uh, this function doesn't have access to anything called assigns here because we, we don't know what the assigns are so that's why I did this at the beginning so our first our first parameter is still con but as we're getting the con we are getting assigns out of that right here. We've matched it. Uh, so, well, first of all, if, if it doesn't match, if there is no assigns, we can't even use this function. And second of all, uh, when it does match, then we can use this assigns down here and not have to have another line or a function to get the assigns out. Better save that. All right, now we can use our glue.con.assign to put the information into the con for us. So we've already imported it, so we can just say assign, actually con equals, because we're gonna be updating the con, con equals assign con key is adjective, and we use a different, different one, say great, just so we can see it update. And then in here, we'll use con 
dot assign and reload the server and a huge Erlang error. Maybe it does look like okay. So what we'll do here, just quickest way to debug it sometimes is make some noise in the terminal. So io.puts, and I think the most dense character I know, or the densest character I know is that one. We'll just put a whole bunch of them, and then io.inspectcon.assigns. And this will have to be up here, so it happens before the inspect. All right. Reload the server. Okay, so... EEX needs a key list and con.assigns is a map. So all we need to do is turn it into a key list and we should be good to go. So we'll make a new variable called assigns and set that to enum.to list of con.assigns. And that should be good to go. So I'll get rid of all these. And then we'll change this to assigns and fire up IEX, give it a shot. All right, yay. Now that we've done this, let's get this functionality out of our render. So uh, we do want the assigns to get information of con.assigns, but we don't want to pass the same assigns to every single template. So we will take this out, we'll write a function that handles hello, content for hello, and con, and we'll start with the con, and then we will assign adjective with the value mysterious and then we will send that to render and render hello All right restart the server aren't i mysterious i can do control structures and stuff and speaking of control structures see if we change this three equals three to six now it updates. And we can also add new templates on the fly since everything is interpreted. So make one called foo.eex. And foo.eex just has ASDF, one, two, three, or one, whatever. And we'll make a whole bunch of those. And check out the foo template. There we go. No restarting the server. And to be honest, I think this is enough for alchemy.camp, at least for a week or a few days, so you can uh, get back to the normal lesson challenge format. If you've enjoyed this, or would like to see more lessons and learn more Elixir in the future, then definitely click subscribe on YouTube, click the bell, and I'll see you on another video.